We've got our campfire whipped potatoes, our coriander roasted carrots, and most importantly, that delicious elk sirloin roast. Today on Hunt Chef, we're cooking elk sirloin roast right here on the campfire. We've got some great Pennsylvania hardwood going. We've already got our potatoes in the cast iron there. They're about halfway done. We wanted to start them ahead of time. Now we've got this gorgeous elk sirloin roast. It's almost three pounds, so you're gonna feed plenty of people with this. And so we've got enough potatoes and carrots to go along with it. Now you can see the grain of this meat pretty much runs lengthwise the whole way through it. So what we're gonna do to get it ready for the fire, I've got some oil and some stone house grill rub here that we're gonna liberally season it with before we put it on the fire. So now, we've got the roast. I'm gonna go ahead with the uh, salad oil. And again, this salad oil is just gonna help protect that lean meat from the, uh, from the flame and from the metal and try and keep it from sticking. But we're gonna season it with the oil both sides really well. And then we're gonna go back to it with our Stonehouse grill rub. And we'll re-season it a couple of times probably as it cooks because some of it will come off on the fire, some of, us, some of it will come off on a grill grate. But we're gonna make sure that this natural, delicious elk sirloin roast has plenty of uh, extra flavor from the Stonehouse grill rub. Again, we're seasoning it liberally the whole way around. And that guy's ready for the fire. So we're gonna take it and lay it right here over the hottest spot. Oh, you can hear the sizzle already. I'm gonna move these potatoes here a little bit so you can see that. We've got them in a nice hot spot there. So we want this over the direct heat, lots of flame. We wanna get a crust, a char on the outside of the, uh, the elk to lock in all the juices. And each time as we flip it around, we're gonna keep looking for the hottest spot on this fire because it's a really lean piece. And as big as it is, it's still pretty thin. So by the time we turn it three or four times and move it around all the different hot spots on the fire, we should have a beautiful medium rare sirloin roast. And then we'll slice that nice and thin right across the grain of the meat. And I think it's gonna eat really, really well. Ramcat's HydroShock self-centering chisel tip with patented deep lobes creates a hydrofoil, forcing body mass outward, providing the deepest penetration available. Ramcat, hits like a ram, cuts like a cat. So this elk sirloin roast recipe, you know, it was really about simplicity, about being outside, about being in elk camp or your backyard. But, you know, we're not as fancy here today as we are in the kitchen a lot of times. We're about three things, the carrots, the elk, and the potatoes, and doing them really well all out here over the hardwood so that it's um, really easy to execute. Again, whether you're in camp or um, just want to make life simple in the backyard. So we've got our carrots, and these guys, we washed them up. I didn't peel them. So they're nice and small and we're going to take these guys and we're going to dress them with a little bit of salad oil for the grill and then i've got some ground coriander which is a really fragrant spice and we're going to season these guys really well with this we'll turn them get the oil all the way around so that it helps the uh Carrots get a good char over the fire, and that'll help the, the coriander stick to the carrots. But again, you wanna put plenty on there. Don't be shy. It's a super tasty spice and perfect for a fire, cooking over a live fire. So we're gonna put these guys right on the grill and let them char and roast up and get all kinds of delicious you can see our elk roast is really pulled together and plumped up remember i told you that grain of that meat runs this way long ways so that meat is as it cooks it tightens up oh my oh my that is looking extra delicious we're going to hit it again with a little bit of the stonehouse grill rub so you're seasoning the outside but there's a lot of meat there in the middle we're going to get plenty of flavor on that guy now it's going to be time. Our potatoes are done. 
I'm going to take these guys, pour off the water, and I'll bring them back to show you how we add the milk cream, butter, and uh, salt and pepper. Faster. Smaller. Better. Faster. With 0.67 second trigger speeds and 2.1 second recovery times. Smaller. To make it easier to get that camera out of sight. Better. Because it has to. Faster. Because missing pictures is not an option. Smaller. For your convenience. Better to give you the reliability you deserve. The trail camera that you've been asking for is here. We use Browning trail cameras. So the potatoes are done. We've got the water off. We're back over here. And again, if you're really in the back country, you can pack in margarine. You know, just put it in a Ziploc bag or whatever because it's shelf stable. Um, we've got some great butter here because we're a little closer to the store than the back country is. And so we're going to add our butter to the potatoes, a little bit of milk, and finally our salt and pepper. We'll season these guys up. And then we're just going to take a spoon, mash them up. They're still good and hot. This cast iron's holding plenty of heat. So this is how you made mashed potatoes before they were the fancy KitchenAid mixers in every home in America. But we're going to leave these guys pretty chunky. We could beat on them all day and get them super smooth, but we're feeling rustic today with our elk sirloin roast and our coriander roasted carrots out here on the hardwood. So we're going to leave these guys just like that. And that's how you have mashed potatoes on a campfire. Millions of kids in the U.S. think meat is made at the store. That's not country. This is country. Mossy Oak Breakup Country. All right, we're just gonna, like I said, keep re-seasoning your roast with the, with the grill rub. And then we hadn't put any salt or pepper, but the carrots are getting some really nice color right now. So we're gonna hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper and some more of our coriander right there they're almost done Whew. i know they're going to be super tasty and it's all going to pair up nicely today we picked a pale ale i mean what better than one born in the sierra nevada mountains to uh pair up with your with your elk roast over the campfire Well, by now, we're probably just a little past rare in this beautiful roast. Now, one of the great things about this is, even if it's you and everybody sitting around the fire, you can start eating on this thing and just kind of let it keep cooking and passing it around. And uh, everybody can cut a slice off and lay it back on the fire and cook it to their, their preferred doneness if they don't like it rare as the next person sitting beside them. So we're just going to take some of our potatoes here and make these guys a nice little pile. Again, we're at elk camp. We're not worried about being too fancy right now. Now these carrots, they've got some great color on them. You can see they're roasted, cooked through, and um, super, super tender. But look at the inside of that guy right there. Absolutely gorgeous and delicious. I can smell the coriander along with the uh, with the smoke and the fire and the elk coming over it. What a delicious dish this is going to be. I mean, the fuel, you've been out packing elk meat all day, whether it's yours or buddies, doesn't really matter. You come back to have a meal like this. That's when you know you're living. It's super tender, cooked just right. And you might say, man, those carrots are burnt. Well, I'll tell you. There's nothing but flavor in that char on the outside. And once you taste it, you'll understand why I do it this way. And why you can too. So we've got this piece to resistance here, this gorgeous elk sirloin roast. And again, it's probably still a little on the rare side, but I don't know about you. I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. And you could also let it sit to the side and rest for a while so all this 
blood and juice isn't just running and dripping right out of it. But when it's this fresh and you're feeling it the campfire side the way we are right now, you're going to be ready to eat too. And you can keep on slicing, but just to give you a little flavor, there's our elk sirloin roast, our campfire mashed potatoes, and our coriander roasted carrots. Nothing but hardwood campfire, living the outdoor life, delicious right there. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors, and remember, always eat what you kill.